Okay, okay so let, let's start. Um, we are both French. Sorry for our accent. If you have any question, just stop us. We are in a big room with a few number of people, so that should be okay. We can have an interactive discussion. Um, so the, what is the goal of the toolchain and what is the goal of the subgroup? So what we observed uh, during our three years within the Open Compute Project was the lack of good tools to collaborate. And the Open Compute Project is about collaboration between people. And um, when we participate to open source software, we all know uh, the GitHub process. And we thought that uh, there is a need to design a tool where we can improve collaboration, but dedicated to open hardware. So the main intent of the uh, Open Compute subgroup toolchain is to create these tools and to uh, think about how we can improve the collaboration using the right software. So we, we are designing the tools. We are trying to provide the same features than GitHub, but for open hardware. And um, we are also implementing the tools. So it's, um, we, are uh, we are running specification, but we are trying to have implementation. Everything is based on open source software. So we have identified a couple of software that we are using for building this toolchain. And uh, we are trying to keep the toolchain as much as possible modular and expandable. So like that, the technology is usable for ISVs, like people who are designing tools like SolidWorks or Cadence or any kind of uh, EDA tools. So the toolchain is focusing on mechanical simulations and EDA. So roughly with these three features, we believe that you might have everything to design a system and a complex system. So the first step that we, we took was to design a workflow. So how do we want to collaborate? How do we want to design a system? And what, what is needed? So we have identified three classes of end users for the tool chain. The first one is the engineer, the people who are going to design things. The second one is the end users, so people who are going to consume things and wants to provide feedback to the engineering team. And the third one is people who are willing to learn, so like students, so observers. So that, that's the main benefit of collaborative project. We, we, we can teach people uh, what we are doing and uh, uh, how they could uh, get involved. So as being an engineer, we thought there would be a few things which are required. The first thing is um, to, to be identified. So we have a web platform where the engineers can log in, create an account exactly like on GitHub, and um, being identified um, as being a mechanical engineer, electrical engineers, or um, thermal simulation engineers, um, those kind of engineering uh, resources. Then you can create your own project, define it, market it, because when you do open hardware, you need to build up a, a team, you need to get new resources, and you, to do that, you need to, to get traction for your project. So that's the second step. And the first step is, is you need to design, so you can select your design tool, and either from the tool chain or from uh, external uh, application. So as being an end user, so you can create your own account and you can provide feedback to the design team and you can help the design team to improve its own design by providing either resources like financial resources or uh, technical resources. I think that's something which is key. You can also write documentation. So the, the lack of documentation is a, is a nightmare within open hardware. And uh, we need good documentation, and that's, that's a very boring process, and uh, that's something that an end user can participate to. It's easy, and uh, he's testing the hardware, so he can provide feedback. And as being an observer, you can get access for free to any content. You don't need to be identified. You, 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 can, you can have a look to the, to the content of the, of the web platform. So um, when we started the project, we thought it, it, it would be a hard task. Um, so we started that project six months ago, something like that, or between six to four months ago, back in December. It has been announced in December. Um, so coding requires a few tools. So you need a computer, a text editor, a compiler, some patience, and a tool like Git. So when you do hardware, we quickly discovered that the task was much more complicated. And building a tool chain to design hardware is not uh, building a compiler. And even building a compiler is something complex. So when you want to do hardware, this is much more complex. And we need additional things like a CAD tool. So yes, we, we, we went on the next slide. So as to run an implementation, because what we wanted to do is to present to, during the summit 
a first mock-up of what could be OCP toolchain, and this is what we are going to do at the end of the talk. So the, we, we selected the CAD tools and we started to work with 3CAD. So 3CAD is um, an open source software which is available on the web. It is designed for more than 10 years. It relies on very complex technology, but it works pretty well. It is based on Open Cascade, that's, that's a 3D, uh, 3D engines uh, released under GPL license. And we participate to the project and we, we provided massive improvement. And we focused first on being able to read properly the step files that you are committing to the Open Compute website. How can we open these files, look at them, in, uh, and, and provide feedback from them? So we have now the assembly tree, which is available in FreeCAD. You can select parts, you can, you can browse the, the model, and you can, you can have a clear look on that. We improved also the, the performances of the tools, and uh, we discovered that these tools rely on a very small community of engineers, about 20 people. So it's pretty easy to, to become a, a, new, uh, a new code designer for FreeCAD because the community is small, and uh, it, it's quite easy to get in touch with them. So we also discovered that it's used by many open hardware projects. So this project, you, you probably never heard about it, but if you have a 3D printer or if you are uh, going to fab labs in universities, you will discover that many students and many engineers are using these tools because it's free, it's parametric, and this is entering competition with SolidWorks. Even if this is a very entry-level 3D parametric tool, this is still good enough to design the computers. This is what we believe. So then we looked at EDA. So EDA is the tools which are required to design electrical uh, systems. And uh, we started to use KiCad. So KiCad is another open source project which is driven in Europe and in the US. That's also a, a very whole project that's about 10 years of uh, engineering and, uh, and development. It's backed up by currently by CERN, which is a very strong um, research center in Europe. And uh, it does integrate most of the functions and features that you require when you design a complex systems. So there is the trace uh, length matching algorithms and differential impedance computations which are available within the tools. This has been sound contribution. And, um, and the tools is, um, is currently working quite well. So FreeCAD and KiCAD are available on any operating systems. You can run on Windows, Mac OS, or Linux and they are properly uh, maintained by, by their engineering team. Just to give you a rough idea, FreeCAD is currently a, an application which is more than two million source line code. So that's a big application. And KiCAD is exactly the same things. So they are very complex piece of software, but they, they, they can be very efficient to design open hardware. So then there is a missing part when you design hardware, which is the simulation. So we need to run thermal simulation. So just looking at the Facebook system with the latest NVIDIA solution, I think the biggest challenge was either on electrical side and thermal management. And, and thermal management and thermal simulation currently cost a huge amount of money. And this is clearly a showstopper to expand the community. How can we convince a student or individual contributors to get involved into OCP if we cannot provide them the right tools to design computers? So that's also why we are expanding tools like FreeCAD with simulation capabilities, and we rely currently on two solvers. One of them is called Elmer. It is designed in Europe from a, a Finland university. And the other one is Calculix, which is designed in Germany. So Elmer is pretty good in a CFD application. Um, so we are using it for the thermal management, and Calculix is used for structural analysis. So when you have a rack and you want to be sure that during an earthquake, it is going to stand up. So you need to run some uh, structural analysis computations during the earthquakes just to simulate what's going on within the rack. So Calculix is able to do that. And we are expanding the software to support all of these things. So this work is done within the OCP toolchain, but it's also done within the FreeCAD community and the KiCAD communities. And that's, that's a good um, way to demonstrate that we could collaborate with other communities. So this is something uh, very important to us. If we go on the next slide. So we are introducing there uh, OHUB. So OHUB is the name of the OCP toolchain backend. So it is designed by Guillaume and myself and a few other contributors. The web page looks like GitHub. So 
And that's true, we get inspired by them. <laughs> and uh, that's an open source platform. You can, you, you can commit code to the platform, so you can help us to design the platform. It's released under the GPL license. Um, this is where you can publish and consult project design. You can interact with the design tools. So FreeCAD and KiCAD are going to get some um, extension modules and the application is going to connect directly to the OHUB platforms to publish files. So if you edit a mechanical drawing or edit a PCB, so when you are going to save your design, it's going to be either stored within your computers or directly published on the web and you can commit and reverse your commit from, uh, from your design. So, and this is also going to give a showcase of your projects. So people can have a look to your projects uh, directly without installing uh, application on their, uh, on their systems. And we are going to use the native format. So meaning that you are not going to publish anymore a PDF file which is going to be difficult to browse. So you can, we are going to publish a CAD files that you are going to browse within your browser. So which is going to be much more efficient than uh, looking at drawings. So we, we have a running workup, and this is the most in interesting things from this talk this afternoon, and I'm going to go fast, but there, there is a lot of works around this software. This is very complex things. So we need, we need more people to help us to design the software, increasing the community. And um, you, can, you can provide us um, support through developing uh, the software or either uh, computing resources. So FreeCAD, for, as an example, requires about one hour to, to, to be compiled on the server. So one hour of compilation is a lot of time. And we need to recompile that stuff on a daily basis or on a hourly basis. So that's, uh, that's the key things. And we also need to generate uh, the binary for uh, the three operating systems I did mention before. So this is requiring um, a, a big infrastructure. And we are expecting to try to open the first OHUB services by the end of 2017. So targeting the mechanical drawings, so where we can publish mechanical drawings and you can browse the drawings and provide feedbacks to the engineering team. So this is, this is our primary goal. So you can help us to test the tools when they will be available and provide us feedbacks. So now this is uh, to Guillaume to introduce the, the first demo. Okay, so the aim now is to show you the first mockup we have on a Ho Hub, the Ho Hub platform, and to, to, to give you the ideas we, we have to enable collaboration between CAD tools, IDA tools, and the, the, the platform we, we are designing. So let's go to the demo. Okay, uh, so um, in terms of, of uh, organization of the platform, if you know GitHub, we are trying to do something really similar. So a platform with users and uh, project with users uh, associated to a project and, 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 and so on. So up here, for example, if you go to a specific project, let's say the rugged pod project, you are on the home page with a basic feature. You have to manage a project like issues management, source code, uh, a forum to interact with the team, and so on. But the, the, the interesting part uh, here for the, for the hardware is to be able to collaborate on mechanical files, electronic, uh, electronic files, to get the design really collaborative. Uh, when I'm working on FreeCAD, for instance, and I have my model, then I want to share it with the rest of the team, with contributors, with, with customers, with people interesting, people that, that want to give feedback on it. Um, so to do that, the idea is to, to write some plugins for the, for the tools. So we, we don't have it yet. It's under development. I, I don't have a, a demo for that uh, now. But the idea is to be able, from the tool directly, to say, OK, I push my model to the platform. So in one, one click push. And it will create a new version of the model on the platform. So if I go to mechanical design, here I have all the parts uh, uh, in, the, in the mechanical part in the project. And I can uh, see the model directly in the, in the web here. And 
Then the idea is to be able to give a feedback. For instance, if I look at the model and I say, OK, on these specific parts, I want to give a feedback. I, can, I, I select it. I go to the comment. And OK, I write my comment. And it's like it's, we try, what we try, we're trying to do is to give the processes we already have for years in software development. And we're trying to move it into hardware development. So for those who are familiar with uh, uh, software development, and if you are work with Git and GitHub, you are pushing code and crea creating a pull request. Then people are looking at the pull request, and they're making comments. You fix the issues. And when everybody is, is fine with the, with the code, it, it, it's going to be the new reference. It's, we are trying to do a similar process. Um, so for the mock-up, it's, uh, it's done for now. Yeah. There's still a lot of work to do. But I think you, you get the idea of the platform. And we, are, we have those um, things only for mechanical uh, design for now. But we are wanting to do it for electronical as well and trying to enable collaboration in projects. So the, the key thing is that everything you have seen there is released under open source license. So you can, you can contribute codes to the applications. Guillaume is the project leader, so uh, you, can, you can issue pull request and modification to the code, mm -hmm. and we can improve the, the design. The API is public, so you can have a look to the API, and you can, you can use the API to, to expand some uh, design tools like SolidWorks or other uh, design tools that you are using, and to, to get access to the, to the back end. And that's, that's really key to us because it's, what, what we think is that it's really important that <coughs> people who are interested by OCP can, can understand um, how a design has been thought. So why, why do we took this uh, decision during the design process? And why do we end up to this kind of uh, um, computing resources or these new systems? So, and the only way to understand why a system has been designed and why the result is, is like this is to, is to have the, the whole history of the project. And this is the intent of this kind of tools. Um, so the, everything is published on, the, on GitHub under the uh, Open Compute Project. So for Hohub, FreeCAD is also on GitHub. Kick, uh, KiCAD is also on GitHub. So you can, you can collaborate on this. Um, I am part of the FreeCAD uh, team, so if you have questions on FreeCAD or if you have bugs, you can just send me an email or so use the OCP toolchain mailing list and we can have a look to, to the issue pretty easily. Um, there is still a lot of work, but what you have seen there is a, is a live demo, so we, we have within the back end uh, everything which is required to manage users and manage data, so that's the, that's the key things. Um, the 3D rendering is also a project integrated within uh, FreeCAD, so we are using 3GS uh, as a rendering engine for the, uh, for the web, uh, but it's, it relies on a project called um, Node OCC, which is using Open Cascade uh, interface to Node.js. So we are contributing to this project either. So that's, um, we are just trying to build up something which is very complex, but in the end, might be very helpful for uh, OCP or any open hardware project. Thank you for staying this afternoon. So this was the last talk, I think, of the <laughs> summit. <laughs> Do you have any question? No, right now we we want. Yeah, right now we wanted to have just have a mockup for the mechanical parts. But we are also working on the electrical side. So uh, we are using KiCAD. So KiCAD is, perhaps you can go on the web and, uh, and show the, the web page of KiCAD. But um, KiCAD is the tool is going to be used for electrical. So there is a spy simulator. And, uh, and what we focused first was to bridge KiCAD with 3CAD. So right now, from, from KiCAD, we, we can export step files, 3D step files. From, from KiCad directly within 3CAD and publish the, the PCB of the motherboard uh, on, the, on the back end. So this was the first step that we wanted to make work because for thermal simulation, we needed that 3D models. And we didn't want it to redraw the 3D models of the PCB So as we had all the information within KiCad. Um, the, 
the key thing is we are defining a roadmap. There is a massive amount of work. And, and this, the, I started this talk like uh, saying this is going to be more complicated than writing GCC. And I think I'm not wrong on that. But the key thing is that the people who are involved within that project knows exactly what's, what's needed. And what is good is that OCP is an open hardware project, but there is many other open hardware projects who are really needing, needing this kind of tools. So which means that we are getting inputs from so many different communities that we are, we are moving fast. There, there is a lot of people who are really willing to see this project being successful. So if you want to help us on the electrical side, just feel free. <laughs> um, what, what should I say? I think within a year, we might have something which might be very efficient on mechanical. And within two years, and I know two years could look like a scale which is uh, something <laughs> very far away from you guys. But we are speaking about integrating software with millions of source line code. And this is not going to happen in a day. So whatever we think. And, uh, and within two years, we might have something which might be very efficient. But we need your feedback. We need, we need your uh, uh, involvement within the project. And uh, when mechanical will be available, so we need you to push files and, and, and challenge the team to improve the, improve the tools. But roughly, the, the idea behind this project is really to stop collaboration at the early stage of any OCP project. So just avoiding that we publish final results of every design uh, one day and we cannot collaborate up front. So the, really the idea is that somebody has a new idea, start, start a project, start publishing some 3D drawings, get community feedbacks through the tools and improve the design, and then we converge on a new system. So this is exactly applying the GitHub workflow to the open hardware. Uh, communities. Uh, yeah, um, using, using it, I'm not sure. Um, there, there is currently a subgroup within the server. And um, we, we discuss, I discussed with some IC members who are willing to introduce that project to the IC community, to the next meeting. So um, we don't want to force people to use any tools. This is not the intent. But we, we want to, to fix one of the issue and one of the complaints that we are receiving from some OCP members, which are, how can we better collaborate? And just to give you an example for the Microsoft Olympus projects, so the Microsoft engineering teams came back to us and saying, how can we publish our file? How can we get feedbacks from the community? And this is roughly how this project started. So I had a discussion with uh, Kushagra and, uh, and Mark Shaw and um, telling them, I think we can, we can make something where instead of publishing PDF files or zip files somewhere, uh, which are quite difficult to open and upload and download and whatever, we, we, we can have something which, which could be much more direct and we can display using uh, 3D engines technology the, the model within a web browser. Like that, you, do, you, you can do it on an iPad or any tablets or whatever. So this, is, this is roughly the idea. And we could get feedbacks from many people and much more than what's going on currently. Yeah. And this is where the challenge stands, because this, this, is, um, this is working exactly like GitHub. So we need to have the same functions, like keeping track of the modifications and keeping difference between the modifications. So this function is under implementation within FreeCAD. But when we speak about 3D files, this is much more complicated than diff on text files. So because we have shapes, we have transformation on the shapes, we need to keep track of all this stuff. And uh, that's, not, that's not that easy to implement, but we are pretty close to have a full implementation for that. So. And I'd like to add one point we didn't talk about. It's we're trying, we, we're speaking about FreeCAD, KiCAD, and to integrate with the platform, but we are not trying to lock in people with those tools. So we, the API of the platform is open. And so if you, for instance, you, you are using another CAD tool, let's say SolidWorks, you can uh, write a plugin for SolidWorks to interact with the API. And so you can use the platform, even if your CAD tool and your EDI tool is not an open source tool. 
Yeah, currently, the web rendering engine, so the 3D rendering you have seen there, is using the step file format. So step file is an interchange format for uh, 3D. So we don't, we don't use currently the FreeCAD file format. We could use it because the, the plugin works with the native FreeCAD format. But we don't want to use it up to now because we want to be more open. Even if FreeCAD is an open format, there is no 3D native format which is open currently. So that's the key things. So we are using step to render uh, 3D parts. And um, the next step is, it will be to, to be able, on the mechanical side, to, to render uh, thermal simulation results within the web browser. So we know how to do that either, but this is just a matter of time, um, of having times and resources allocated to the project to make it happen. So if you want to do some 3D math, you are more than welcome. Or if you want to do electrical uh, simulations and uh, validation, you are more than welcome. So one of the challenge of the project will be within the next couple of months is uh, to run validation process. So because we are going to do some simulation, and when you do numerical simulation, you need to be sure that your results does correspond to something which is uh, real. And um, even if we are using a very strong tested code uh, from uh, universities, we need to be sure that everything will be OK. Any questions? Thank you. Yes. Thank you, John.